Hey guys, what's up? So, a couple months ago, I was uh, out in the woods and I forgot my uh, my Wii Boost antenna was up. And by the time I got off the trail, there was a cord dangling in the road and uh, it was trashed. So I bought a new cord, put it all back together, still didn't seem to work. So, you look at this there's a cut right there so that well that might be it you know and uh, I put tape on that to make sure that it wasn't shorting out still didn't seem to work so did the only thing I could think of doing to see if something in here was broken because it was shaking around a little bit so I broke this open pulled all this out to look at the antenna and it's really basic um, and there's it was completely perfect it was fine so put it all back together again I'm gonna retape this get it going see if maybe I just was in a bad spot and I couldn't get in enough boost to make a difference that's what I'm hoping because this is about 120 bucks to replace and I already replaced the cord so kind of a bummer always got to do a checklist is a good idea when you're camping if you're you know doing your thing there's if there's certain things you just keep forgetting to do before you take off maybe write on your visor or something have the couple little things that you check to say oh yeah dang I forgot my wee boost or you know forgot my levelers or whatever it might be um, just a probably a good idea I think that's something I'm gonna do in the future well, see if it's going to work. Hmm. Let's see that. There it is. Well, moment of truth. Two bars. Antenna, no difference at all. Well, it brought it down one. That really should have kicked it up to three bars. So, I think, yeah, it's not working. So, all right, riding, came across this cool little caved-in contraption here. Pretty neat. The old timbers putting it all together. And we're just scouting around, enjoying the trail. Been out of breath. Here's another cool one here behind me. Kind of see it. You can see the valley where we're at, which is pretty cool. But uh, let's go check this out. old timbers pretty cool
pretty darn neat. This reminds me, uh, I used to work on a cattle ranch on the summers when I lived out here in Colorado. And I stayed in something similar to this, but about half the size, um, just kind of a bunkhouse, single bunkhouse, but it was pretty neat. The old mattress out here. <laughs> Oops. Like old timbers. Pretty sweet things you find out here. What do you think, Lil? Huh? Pretty cool? <laughs> Lily always loves these rides. Look at that. Just like that. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Hey guys, what's up? So we had to come into Salida, get a package, and uh, as you can see, we're just kind of uh, up here off of, in the area of Salida, kind of see where we're at. You got the mountains in the background, but this is probably, I don't know, maybe a two or three day stop, if that, I'm waiting for another package. As soon as that package gets here, then we are going to be off again, and hopefully by then a buddy of mine in Phoenix is coming up, and we are going to go hit some trails, hopefully, if uh, the snow doesn't come in and uh, take us out. <laughs> yeah, you got to do this every once in a while. Just stop and, uh, you know, when you're in town close. I'm only probably 20 miles outside of town, which turns out pretty nice. Got my laundry done, got shopping done. Uh, like I said, got the package picked up. Mm -hmm. 